You guys had so many questions and comments about my home screen setup on the Z Fold 6 video that I put out. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how I set up my home screen, the step-by-step -step process, including all of the apps that I used and downloaded. And while I'm showing you guys how to do this on the Z Fold 6, this video is pretty much applicable to any Android as long as you have access to these apps. But before we get into it, I just wanna say that this video is for educational purposes only. And I'm not affiliated with any of the developers or the apps and all of the content belongs to their own respective owners. Okay, so I'm using the default Samsung launcher and honestly, you can use pretty much any launcher you want. I think they should all support these features. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the Play Store and download an app called KWGT. Now the app itself is free, but it's extremely limited in what you can do. In order to import presets, you have to upgrade to the Pro version, which costs $5.99. This is just a one-time purchase, and then you can transfer it along to any of your other devices when you upgrade or change phones down the line. If you don't want to pay for these apps, another option that you can use is called Google Opinion Rewards. So again, you go to the Play Store and you just search up rewards and this is what the app looks like. Install the app, log in with your Google account and it will send you questions about places you've been, things you searched for, and it'll even ask for pictures of receipts from recent purchases. And with each question or task that you complete, it will give you some small amount of money. But it definitely does add up. And for a small purchase, like a dollar, two dollar purchase on a Play Store, you can definitely save up for that in no time. I'll drop my link in the description so you can sign up directly through there. Anyway, back to the home screen setup. Now, once you have this app installed, basically it allows you to set up, customize, and use any type of widget that you would want. So once again, if you go back to the Play Store, all you have to do is search KWGT widgets, and you can come across a bunch of different widget options. The one that I use for my home screen setup currently is called Elements. Once again, this is a paid app and it costs $149. As you can tell from some of the screenshots, the widgets provided in this app are super minimal, super clean, and I really like the way they look. Now, if you don't want to pay this, there may be other alternative methods, and I'm sure you can do some research and Google it to see for yourself. So once you have both apps installed, the KWGT as well as the Elements widgets, you just hold down your home screen and go to the widgets on the bottom. Once you're in here, you just search for the KWGT widget and you're presented with a couple of options. Basically, all you have to do is just hold on any one of them and then drop it anywhere on your home screen. Once it's here, you can readjust the size to your liking. And this is fully customizable, so wherever you place it, if you don't like it where it is, you can just hold down on it and then you can readjust it later on. So for now, I'm just gonna have one medium sized widget across the middle of the screen. And then all you have to do is click on it and it will take you to the KWGT interface. So here you can see I have some pre-installed packs already, but if you only have one, then it should be the first thing that you see. So you just click into the elements KWGT. Here are all your options for the widgets. There are 235 widgets all within this one pack. So it's a really long list and I'm just scrolling through it really quickly, but you can see how many widgets there are to choose from. And what I really love about this one is that all of them follow a very similar design language. So you can mix and match however many widgets you want and usually it'll look pretty cohesive on your home screen. So let's say I wanna keep it simple and I wanna do one widget for the home screen. I just click on the one I want and then it will load the preset. Now all you have to do is click save on the top right, go back to your home screen and you should see the widget where you want to place it. In this example, it's kind of small. So I'm just increasing the size of the widget box and then clicking back into the widget itself, going over to the layer tab. And then I'm just going to increase the scale a bit so that it fits the full size of that widget window. And then in order to have the widgets automatically adjust size, what you can do is go into KWGT, go into the settings, widget settings, and then select auto widget resize. So now you can see already, this is such a clean setup. You have your clock at the top, you have the sunset time, your date, battery, internal storage, a quick overview of the weather, and then you have a few apps along the bottom. If you like the way it looks, you can leave it at that. But if you wanna take it one step further, you can customize all of these individual elements within KWGT. 
Now, I'm not gonna go over how you do that for every single element because that would be a really long video. But basically, you just go back to KWGT and then you find the element within the group that you want to edit. So for this example, I'm just gonna go in and change some of these icons along the bottom because I don't want the ones that are here. So all you do is on the bottom, you scroll over to shortcuts and then you can see you have four individual app icons as well as the Google search icon in the middle. So for the first icon is Gmail and let's say I don't want to have Gmail, I want to replace it with uh, the phone. So I scroll through until I find the phone icon and then I replace it with that. However, the icon symbol itself still needs to change. So all you do is go back to the Play Store and you can download an icon pack that you like. So I can type something like minimal icons and I like this one called Wycons. So you can see a preview here and it looks pretty clean and it fits with the theme of the device. So once you've installed the icon pack that you like, you can go back to KWGT and on the bottom, you scroll over to where it says shortcuts. Now to change the icon itself, you tap on the check mark and then you hit the edit icon on the top right. Here you go under the image option and then you change the mode of the icon from vector to bitmap. Now again, I'm not gonna get too in depth into this, but if you're able to create your own vector icons, that would work even better because you can import them into this widget. But for now, I'm just gonna choose bitmap and then I'm gonna go to pick image. From here, you want to select media picker and then on the right, you hit browse. So once you're in your media browser, you can scroll all the way down to find the icon pack that you installed. And once you click on it, It'll open up the pack and you can search for the specific icon that you want to use. So in my case, I'm looking for a phone icon. So I just click on the one I like and then you can see it automatically applies within the widget. Once again, I just hit save and go back to my home screen and you can see the phone icon has been updated. So if you click on it, it can take you to the phone app. And now you just go through the rest of the icons and you update them to your own preferences. Now keep in mind that Samsung allows you to set up your outer screen as well as your inner screen completely differently. This is really awesome because you can have a different set of widgets on both screens depending on what you use them for. So now I'm gonna go through the process of setting up the widgets one more time on the inside screen to show you guys how it's done. So first thing you wanna do is hold down on the home screen and select widgets. Then you want to add your KWGT widget anywhere on your home screen. The cool thing about this is that the widget can be any size you want and it can span across both of the screens or just stay on one of the screens. It's fully customizable. Once you have a widget that you want, you just click on it and it takes you into the KWGT interface. Once again, we're gonna go into the elements pack and you can just scroll through and find the ones that you like. So for this inner screen, I think it'll be really cool to have the weather show. So I'll select this weather widget and then hit save on the top right. Going back to the home screen, you can see how it looks. And then if I want to add another one, I just do the same thing. Go back into KWGT and then I can find another widget that I want to use. Okay, cool. So here's just an example of how I have two widgets on the inside screen and then you can kind of relocate them however you want. Okay, now that you guys know how to set up your widgets, let's get into some of the live wallpaper options. So let's open the Play Store and then you want to search for video wallpapers. Now a bunch of apps come up and you can try a few different ones to see which one works the best. But for me, I like to install this one called Video to Wallpaper, as well as this one with the green icon called Video Live Wallpaper. You want to install two different apps if you want to have two different live wallpapers from the cover screen to the larger inside screen. Once you've installed these apps, basically you can use any video on your phone as your wallpaper. And if you don't have any videos, you can download some online. So a website I really like to use is called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. This website is pretty cool because it allows you to download a bunch of free images as well as videos. Since we're looking for video wallpapers, I'm going to toggle the video option and just search for something like abstract. Now you can already see there's a bunch of really cool results that you can use. 
And depending on which screen you're looking for the wallpaper for, you can filter by orientation. So if I'm looking for one for the cover screen, I want to filter by vertical videos only. Now from here, you can see this was one of the videos that I had downloaded with this like blue smoky cloud animating in the frame. So all you do is download the video and save it to your device. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look for one more video for the inner screen. And let's just say nature. I think this drone shot could look pretty cool. So I'm going to download this video as well. Now, once you have the videos downloaded, you just wanna open up one of those video to wallpaper apps that you had downloaded. So for the home screen, I'm going to choose this video to wallpaper app, and then I'm going to add a wallpaper, go into my videos and find the one that I had downloaded. So now all I do is hit apply hit OK, and then choose the video to wallpaper app that I had used. Set wallpaper for the home screen, and now you can see it is applied to my home screen. Okay, so now let's do the same process, but for the inner display. So for the inner display, I'm going to open the other wallpaper app, and then I hit change video. From here, I just select that drone footage that we had found earlier. I'm going to hit the icon on the top right to apply this video. Now you can see it already looks a little stretched. So if I set this wallpaper and look at it on the home screen, it doesn't look all that great. So what you wanna do is go into the gallery, find the video that you wanna use, and then manually crop it to the ratio that you want. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you just save this new video. After you save this video, you go back into the video wallpaper app and then reapply the same video to your home screen. So now this looks so much better and you can swap out the videos at any time that you want. So the cool thing about this is that when you open up the device, you have this nice landscape wallpaper. And then when you close the device and you use the cover screen, you still have a separate wallpaper just for that. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics for how I set up my home screens and get my video live wallpapers. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions or any other methods that you do to make your home screen look cool, I would love to hear those as well. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.